Good afternoon. My name is Hannah Howey, and upon the topic of taking a stand in history, I would like to invite you to take a moment to reflect upon and admire the initiative and valor Edward Jenner displayed during the mass smallpox epidemic of the 18th century. So let's take it back a few centuries. Once upon a time, smallpox had been around for quite a while. In fact, about one out of three, oops, sorry, three out of 10 people infected by smallpox died. There were ways of combating smallpox, however, these attempts weren't all too significant. The most successful method of combating smallpox was called inoculation or variolation, which was the semi-dangerous process of inserting a lance full of fresh matter from a smallpox lesion into the subcutaneous layer of skin of someone unexposed to the smallpox disease. This Inoculation wasn't introduced to Europe until about the early 18th century. However, it was only successful if done very carefully. However, popular opinion decided that inoculation was a good idea. Despite this popular opinion, Edward Jenner believed that safer methods could be applied. While approaching the smallpox epidemic, Edward Jenner, if I can find my page. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, while approaching the smallpox epidemic, which Jenner himself had been victim to, he had heard folk tales that farm workers and dairy maids who were exposed to cowpox were somehow immune to smallpox. In May 1796, Jenner inoculated a young boy named James Phipps with fresh matter from a cowpox lesion on a dairy maid named Sarah Gnomes. Phipps displayed the common symptoms of cowpox. However, he recovered in a matter of days. Phipps was inoculated again in July of the same year by Jenner and was inoculated with smallpox pustular matter. And the effects were not repeated, so Jenner concluded that inoculation from cowpox prevented smallpox. Jenner's work was the first scientific attempt to control an infectious disease by the deliberate use of vaccination. To clarify, he did not discover vaccination and or propose that exposure to cowpox cured smallpox, but he was the first to pursue its scientific investigation. However, he was still ridiculed for his theory and its lack of support. Most of the medical community refused his theory, and even after three months of searching for volunteers, Jenner found none. Today, this ridicule still lives. Currently, disputes continue against the side effects that vaccinations are claimed to have caused. But overall, the application of vaccination has greatly benefited public health. My proposal would be that society opens their minds to the greater picture. Jenner's vaccine, vaccine virtually demolished the smallpox epidemic. The practice of vaccination saves lives today. Despite the resistance from, from society, Jenner once declared, I shall endeavor still further to prosecute this inquiry, an inquiry I trust not merely speculative, but a sufficient moment to inspire the pleasing hope of its becoming essentially beneficial to mankind. Today, vaccines are essentially beneficial to mankind. Thank you.